I look kind of gross, but we're not going to talk about it. Instead, we're going to talk about the fact that I'm wearing... <laughs> I'm wearing minion socks, but they're, they don't match. But it's okay. Maybe I should think before I talk. So maybe I should think before, maybe next time I'll think before I talk. Hello friends, and welcome back to a new video. For today's video, I wanted to do a college slash high school Q&A video because I like watching these and I'm in a good place now where I can film one of my own. I'm a senior in high school, I finished applying and I got in and I committed. If you don't know where I'm going to school, then sorry, I guess I'll just never know. So anyways, I posted on my Instagram story asking people to send me questions and surprisingly, I got a decent amount because normally when I do these things, I only get like three people responding to me. It's fine. People came through. So thank you for that. So the first question I'm going to start with is what is my major? Um, my major is music industry. Basically what that is, is combining the creative side of music and the business side of music into one program. And it's really cool. I'm really excited to, you know, start that. So yeah, music industry. That's, that's my major. Next question is, why did I pick my major? I picked my major because I've been playing music since the womb. When I started taking music production classes in high school, that's when I really like fell in love with producing songs and stuff. So I wanted to continue doing that and continue being creative. But I also knew that business is really important in that industry. So I wanted to have like a solid business foundation. So when I found out that some schools actually put all of that into one major that's when i was like you know what music industry that's the major i want to do i looked at drexel's music industry program and it just seemed like like there were so many different classes that i could take and there was such a wide variety of things i could do so like that's that's just that's why <laughs> next question is what made you choose drexel so I mostly chose Drexel for the program because it it just had everything that I wanted. When I was like searching for colleges to apply to, the three things I really wanted was one, a good program, two, far away from home where I can be independent, um, and three, in the city because I I need an active environment. I cannot survive on a farm. It's just it's not gonna happen. So Drexel just kind of checked all of those boxes for me and. That's that's why I chose it. Okay, the next question is, what are you most excited and scared about for college? So, excited? I'm to start taking classes that I'll actually enjoy. I'm more interested in taking classes that are like, you know, music production and marketing and merchandising. So that'll be fun. I'm mostly excited to meet new people and getting to start fresh because high school is just getting old <laughs> okay the next question i got was how was your application process my application process actually wasn't that stressful i know some of my other friends they're still in that process and it's getting really stressful for them but for me it really wasn't that bad mostly because i started early like freshman year early it, it was fine for me honestly oh okay this is a good segue into my next question which is tips for applying my biggest tip is probably to start early because that's what made it the least stressful thing for me keep an open mind because you never know what you might end up liking so yeah all right next question is what other schools did you apply to i i think i applied to like 12 but all right let me think i applied to nyu Syracuse University, um, SUNY Oneonta, SUNY Fredonia, University of New Haven, Long Island University, but like they were two campuses, so that's seven. And then obviously Drexel. Um, I I don't remember the whole list, but that was most of them. The next question I got was, are you gonna rush? Um, I'm not a sorority girl type, but like. It also looks interesting, so I don't know. We'll see. I heard it's also expensive, and I'm sure I'm gonna be going broke already. I don't know. We'll see how I like it. 
All right, this one came from my friend. How's making friends on the Drexel group chats going? You know what, fam? It's it's going good because everybody's really nice and really cool, and I've been talking to a couple people, and they all seem really nice, and potentially they might be my roommates, and that's exciting. And it's really cool that um, I'm already talking to people and like meeting new people because I need to make more friends. Next question, are you going away? Yes, I am. I live on Long Island, Drexel's in Philly, that's about two hours away, and I'm not gonna commute that, so we're living in a dorm. Um, next question is, tips for finding a roommate plus... I'm, I'm trying to find a roommate right now, but honestly, just like, don't be afraid to reach out to people, because I've been doing that, and just keep an open mind, and also, like, like understand your living habits like for me i don't like people throwing their stuff on the floor like that's just a huge pet peeve for me and like i know i go to bed around midnight almost every night so just like know your living habits so that when you're looking for a roommate you can see who you match up with and just you know don't be afraid to start conversation because that's, that's how you get to know people, that's kind of what socialization is. How to make new friends when you're kinda shy? Um, don't be shy. <laughs> um, I guess for when you're actually in college, or even just in high school, join activities. You know, do stuff that you're interested in, then you'll meet other people that have the same interests, and bada bing bada boom, you're best friends. That's very vague advice. Next question I got, I don't really understand. But um, it's, where do you fit in if this were a stereotypical 80s high school placement thing? I'm not entirely sure what that means, but if you're talking about cliques, then I am... Well, okay, first of all, let's establish, I am 110% nerd, just as an umbrella term. But then, like, I'm different species of nerd mixed in together into one person. So, I'm gonna go with... 35% band nerd, 45% theater nerd, but like, not theater, but like, techie, because I'm a techie. So, yeah, 35% band nerd, 45% techie. Um, and then 20% academic nerd. Okay. Hold on, so I say I'm an academic nerd when I literally just had to input into the calculator what 35 plus 45 is, and also, technically, it would be 30%, because at the beginning, I said I'm 110% nerd. So, I'm sorry. Everything I just said was invalid, and I hate myself. Okay, back to the video. Next question is, how to decide on a major when you're undecided? Just know that it's okay to be undecided, like that is an option on your college applications and when you're an undecided major you're just gonna have to take a bunch of liberal arts classes and theoretically you're supposed to figure out what you want to do within those first couple of years of taking liberal arts classes so don't worry everything will work out and if you're trying to decide then just think like what do you love to do if you love your job you'll never have to work a day in your life are you gonna do any extracurriculars in college and if so which ones um, I definitely intend to. I know that Drexel has um, a campus activities board, which is like a huge student-run board that organizes like different activities for the school. And that looks fun because they apparently organize this like summer concert, no, spring concert. They have different singers come in and play songs for the students and they actually get like really high up their artists sometimes, so that would be fun. I know that Drexel has a music label that I would want to be a part of, so yeah, definitely stuff related to that. And um, I don't know, I guess I'll just see when I get there what they have to offer. You never really know until you try it, I guess. Next question, are you still gonna do YouTube in college? That is my very strong intention. I definitely still wanna do YouTube in college, but I know that schedules are very, it's really hard to balance, so I might not keep up with the whole posting once a week thing, because that's what I've been doing. We'll see. I definitely 
have every intention to continue it. The last question I got is, what is colleg? This is colleg. Okay, that was it. Okay, so that was it for all of the questions. Thank you to everyone who asked me stuff because I never get to do these things because no one ever asks me stuff. So thank you for giving me this chance and this once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, I hope I answered all of your questions to a decent extent and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.